Right, oh, here's a quick little video about how to set up um, Reaper in a plugin called NinJam, which allows you to do uh, an online jam, which is a pretty topical thing um, at the moment with this virus. So, um, first of all, um, get Reaper if you don't have it already. It's um, an audio recording program, it's pretty cool. Um, it's, you can free free to evaluate, but you can buy a license, which is about 60 New Zealand dollars, which I think somewhere about 100 US dollars. Um, but it's a pretty cool recording piece of software and um, it's the it's the one that a lot of our me and my friends use so um, that's really cool um, so if we come in here and we start a new project um, blank blank slate here so first off insert a new track um, hit the record button on that track and hit the effects button on that track as well which will pop up the effects window here um, come into this uh, one here Kokos and then into rear ninjam so that's the uh, the online jamming plugin we're going to add to this first track um, while you're here too it took me a couple of bit to figure all this out but um, if you click on this one here two and eight here and just go and add some more channels uh, and it'll make sense while you're doing that a bit later um, you don't have to do that but as I say if you want to kind of jam with more than just one channel in your session then um, you want to definitely press that plus button so you can take advantage of that later um, so once you've done that you can press this little button here and this will join launch the um, the ninjam kind of main plugin window but we're going to come back to that uh, I'm just going to close that for now and close that so back here in my session you want to hook up the tracks that you want to um, to broadcast so the first thing is my a mic plug in a mic for sure and plug that into one of your channels um, and insert a couple of channels here so I'm going to insert say a, a channel for um, my mic so I'm going to come in here and hit record on that and I'm going to come and find my microphone in my case that's on input 7 and I think my guitar is um, I'm just going to go with, uh, with input 1 there that'll do me um, I'll give these a name which will probably help out later and um, there you go. Um, cool. So I'm just going to test. Oh, I've got that round the wrong way. Make that one input one and that one input seven, which is my mic. Uh, right. Now click this little button here. This little button kind of um, indents the, the tracks you've added and it kind of routes your tracks from your end through the jam plugin. I'm just going to call that jam so I don't get confused. Um, also, while you're here, um, this little in drop down here click on that and change that to record output multi-channel that means when you um, want to record what's going on here this will record the output of everybody else's jam rather than your input into the jam which you're kind of already recording on these other tracks anyway right that kind of sets up um, here if you want if you do want to add other tracks there they kind of get added below this um, this master track here so I don't know if I wanted to say add keys um, which I've got on maybe stereo I don't know seven and eight for example um, that I do I've got an electric piano here on that input there you can see it's noisy old Fender Rhodes piano so it's making a bit of noise already so I've got a few instruments here and they're all routed um, into this one here and this one here has the Ninjam plugin on it so that's uh, that's kind of setting up your local side of it um, what you want to do in here now is you want to go and connect to a jam so you can either uh, if you come in here and go file connect it will show you a whole list of um, already existing servers and jams that are going on um, and there are actually quite a lot of empty ones here that you can um, use to start a jam as well um, and they're set at all different beats per minute and things like that so if you do end up wanting to use one of these public ones um, you can just pick one and then I, I guess you tell your friends um, which one you've connected to which is that address there so you might send that to them in a, in a private message pick yourself your username connect anonymously and click connect and that will connect you into a jam and you'll get this metronome kind of coming across the bottom here uh, I've actually got it muted there but if I click unclick that you can hear that the, the metronome of the jam so anyway I'm just going to mute that for now but what I'm going to do here is now I'm going to route these tracks that I set up in my session um, into here so I can kind of transmit them um, as I jam with others so I'm going to come in here and going to add local channel um, so first of all um, here you've got these different inputs um, and these ones here you can kind of use to route things from here so for example I'm, I'm going to make the first channel here my mic um, and, and you've got different channel types so this normal ninjam channel type is the one you use when you're jamming so you, if you've got musical instruments you set them to that one but if you've got voice set it to voice chat 
um, and that means that when you talk it will kind of broadcast it instantly rather than kind of in this um, time synced um, jam kind of mode. So I'm going to add a mic there first and foremost. I'm going to set that to um, input 7 and then I'm going to add another choke channel here and I'm going to say that's my guitar and I'm going to have that on say 1 and 2 and then I'm going to add another local channel here. Um, just going to disconnect there while I do this uh, and I'm going to say call that my piano. And I'm going to set that onto three and four, and I'll show you how why these relate here. So the the one, two, the three, four, and the seven I've set up here. If I come back to my mixer, my um my Reaper main window, where's my mixer? One of these windows I've got in the background here, I'm sure. Um, right. So here I can see my keyboard, um, my microphone, which is over there, and my guitar. And by using the route button here, I can kind of route these different instruments to these different um, broadcast channels I guess you could call them so for example I'm going to route my mic to 7 and 8 because I put my mic on channel 7 uh, I'm going to route my um, I do here my guitar to 1 and 2 which it is already and I'm going to route my keyboard here to 3 and 4 so now in my over here in in jam you can see my mics in the first one here my guitars on the on that one there and you can as I say you can see the background noise of my piano there on three and four so each of these channels does use bandwidth so kind of um, you don't have to have multiple channels you can just have one and push everything out that um, but if you want to kind of break up the different ones you can do that there um, right now we can kind of go and connect to a session I'm just going to go and connect to an existing one so you can kind of see what it looks like when other people join so uh, I'm going to connect to this one here and um, there's four people in it and it looks like there's eight spots uh, so I'm just going to connect anonymously to that one uh, they come up to T's and C's just accept that it's there it's all about if you make the next um, number one hit who's going to own it um, right once you click accept here you'll hear the metronome in the session I'm just going to turn that down and after a phrase there I'm just going to mute my channels here so that there chooses whether you're going to transmit your audio um, but over here now I can see um, other people jamming and I can hear them uh, and hear their tracks as well. Um, so here's an example of someone who's kind of split their guitar into one channel and stuff so you can kind of see it on different channels here and I can adjust the different levels of everyone so I can kind of get my own mix. Um, yeah, right, That's you're away, you're jamming. So as I say, as long as you've got your transmit on, um, you could literally start jamming in this session. Um, Likewise, if you want to mute any of these ones here, you can just turn the channels on and off. You can choose who you want to listen to and not. And then up here, you can adjust the level of your metronome, and you can mute the metronome too. Um, just mute that one there, uh, and I'm going to mute my metronome. So that's it, you're jamming. Now, if you want to record, because of the way we set things up in the beginning, um, you should be good to go. And because we set this channel up here to record the output instead of the inputs, um, you should get it all. So if I hit record now, um, I'll move that window out of the way. I can see someone's left the session there now, so there's only a couple of people in there not making any noise. But yeah, this will now record um, all the other people um, on this multi channel track here. And. Um, it'll record all your own local instruments here so out of that you should be able to get a, um, a good recording so that's kind of it really um, I'm just going to stop recording there Gotta mute that, those tracks there um, that is online jamming through um, the Ninjam plugin in Reaper and as I say a key thing there is to set that up and to also set up as I say on your plugin when you set it up to set up the multiple um, ends here by pressing this plus button otherwise you can't route stuff to anything more than one and two uh, that had us going for a little while until we figured that one out cool thanks for listening